Hi, my name is Andy. I'm a mechanical engineer. We started with WhatsApp and we added Microsoft Teams capabilities. For more reviews like this, please click below. We utilize uh, WhatsApp for uh, mostly one-to-one -one communications uh, worldwide uh, within our team members as well as our, um, our, our network of um, end users. Um, but you we utilize Microsoft Teams primarily for uh, meetings uh, and collaboration uh, within our team. Microsoft Teams is definitely the, the best utilized uh, for the, its collaboration features, allowing you to share and uh, share control and to just work um, in real time together as a team. WhatsApp is really great at being able to communicate uh, across long distances securely uh, to be able to share uh, files pictures um, any information you need to be able to do live video calls uh, if needed uh, and it's something that is available to anyone uh, no matter what country you're in Getting started with WhatsApp was incredibly easy. It attaches uh, to your phone number or utilizes your phone number for your identity. Uh, so turning that on and just getting it up and running only took a matter of seconds, really. Um, Microsoft Teams uh, was a little more involved because it attaches to, uh, to my work enterprise email address. Uh, so, you know, getting that set up and getting logged in, getting the account turned on uh, was a little, little more involved, um, but definitely not a difficult process. The biggest considerations when we're looking at the different types of software is the ease of use, um, what the, the functions are, and the, the biggest one with us is who can use it. Uh, so in this case, WhatsApp is, is available to anyone, anywhere, uh, as long as they have a phone number. Uh, with Microsoft Teams, you can join as a guest. Uh, anyone can join in as a guest as long as they have an email address, but to actually have an account, uh, you have to be part of that corporate environment. 